first cafeteria. Oh, oh. yes. This is cool. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Going on. I'm really excited because we get to visit the world's first cactarium <laughs> and and in England we don't have any cactariums, we barely have any cactuses, so this is going to be cool. <laughs> Boojum, Boojum fruit, I like that one. Actually that looks like, do you know those, the, the rain sticks? I can tell you, whoa! Opened in 1938, that's a lot earlier than I thought it would. 3,000 varieties. <laughs> Collections on display are comprised of more than 3,000 varieties of plants placed in concentrated habitats along the nature trail in the world's first cactarium. A word coined by the Mortons will discover a special exhibition of rare plants seen nowhere else. Yeah, there were so many. That's a classic one there. Well, I was just going to say that. How, what do you picture when you think of a cactus? Oh, I think one of those tall I ones. Think of one, I think of a tall one like that. But no, I think these as well, though. This makes me think of, of um, Mac, um, the Jungle Book. <laughs> pick, pick, pick a pole. Blue, that's a, is that a pole pole? Yeah. I love this because it's so sculptural. It's just like a sculpture in itself, isn't it? It looks it's to like me... It's hard. Yeah, actually, that's like... Uh, Aloe vera. Well, it's similar. It's in a garvey, so it's similar. Aloe garvey. Aloe garvey. Actually, you can you can use the um, syrup from that, like a sugar substitute. Oh, can you now? Yeah, it's very sweet. Mm. I like this. This is beautiful. How much was it to get in? Five dollars each. Not too bad, is it? It's cool. Oh, it's a prickly pear cactus. This is the one. You pick a pear. A pear. Was it prickly pear? Prickly pear cactus. Oh, that's my favourite. She's good. Oh, we've got a little indoor area. A big pineapple there. It's a good one. Creosote. Creosote bush. Can we have a smell? Come on then. Smell like. Well, this you might find shocking. Okay, go on. It smells of creosote. Have a smell. No. Yeah. Can't smell. I'm going to smell it. Oh, anyway. you can't it's smell right. anything. I'll take your word for it. Mm. I guess the bits, bubbles fall off and start new ones. Look. Mm. They just fall onto the floor and, and start growing. Nobby's nuts. Yeah. Nobby's nuts. Mm. Oh, look at these. They're prickly there. Is that a gufumpin guf chuola? It's a jumping. It's like aliens. That's beautiful. Oh, these are prickly. World's first cactarium. Oh, oh. yes. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, yes. It's furry ones and all sorts. Oh, wow. <clears throat> this is cool. Oh, it is oh, cold. It's, it's cold. It literally is cold. Look at this. Rare. Variety is not for sale. Look at that fluffy little. I'm not sure I like this one. Look at this one. Whoa, that's rare. Look at that coming out of the tube. I just want to feel that one. <coughs> oh, these are magic, these. Stu, <coughs> look at this one. It's like. It's yes, a twister. This one looks like he's trying to get out. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Oh my gosh, look at this, 
just kind of... What does that say? It says Echinosaur. Sounds more like a dinosaur, doesn't it? Echinosaurus brandigi. Okay, that's good. Nearly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that's a starfish. Oh yes, that's amazing. <laughs> Seen so many things. Oh, that's fluffy there. I'm amazed at so many different varieties. Well, Paul, I'm sorry you're missing this. You're going to have to come here one day. Hasn't your uncle got a collection? He has. Oh. It's got a fine collection. Like Love it. Oh, I mean, come on. So this one looks. I'm not sure that is one, is it? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a dangler. Look at this one, there's pots falling over. And it's just like. <laughs> it's just a freestyle. Mm. This one is a, is a. I mean, proximity, I don't want to touch it, but there's my hand. It's big. This is like a coral. This looks like the seabed. Reassembled here by the Mortons to preserve a piece of Palm Springs history. That's cool. Mm. Desert, desert tortoises. Oh. Where for art though? Oh look. Oh, crikey, is he? Ooh. He's had a. Oh, there's the one here. Is he actually in there? I don't know. Wow. Well, yeah, because they hibernate. They yeah. go into hibernation for like yeah. three or four months. Yeah. You know what They're I mean? Correct. They don't move. In, in nature, they usually barrel themselves underground and then. So do you help them hibernate or do they just chill here? And they no, we put them up, uh, put them away because of critters at night, you know what I mean? Yeah, Once, yeah. And, and, and everything underneath this ground, there's just no way they can't tunnel out. I, I put um, metal about a oh, foot cool. down so oh. and the same thing with their house that way because um, before they were barreling underneath the fence and... Escaping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, are they old? They look pretty big. They're, they're all pretty old. We do have one over there by a cacterium that's 72 years old. I don't know if you've seen them all. Oh, wow. Old. I saw the one in the little cage. No, that was a tortoise. No, that was a little. Over here by the cacterium. You know where the cacterium is? Okay, yeah. We'll go and look that. We've missed. And then we got another one over here that we got uh, maybe like two months ago, three months ago, right over here in this cage. Okay. Yeah, he went over there and picked them up, and we, we got them over here. We tried putting them with the rest of them, but they're very territorial. Oh, are they? they start fight. Yeah, they start, I mean. A tortoise fight, I can't, I can't imagine. imagine. Well, all they have is their head, so they're just yeah, bobbing they're with their head and just snapping at each other. But they can't, like, take a punch. Yeah, they're not like, no. they're not, they're not like they got elbows in their, yeah, but no. I mean, they're constantly just cracking shells and yeah. um, trying to flip each other over. But what I understand, they can live up to be 121 years old. Well, a desert tortoise. Right. That is. And supposedly, if you do own one, you gotta live. It, you gotta leave it in your will. Yeah. Because they will outlive you. Yeah. Outlive you. That's how we got the 72-year-old one. His owner had passed away. And she heard that we had tortoises on the property, so 
that would be the perfect place. Do they continue to grow, do you think? I mean, oh, do they yeah. get bigger and bigger until they're 100? Or yeah, they'll yeah. just keep on getting bigger and uh, bigger. Yeah. I mean, but look what they eat. That's what I, I feed them every morning, nothing but vegetables. Oh. Nothing but like green. Strawberries. They love strawberries, cantaloupe, uh, corn, yeah. broccoli, stro I mean, and, uh, you know, yeah. uh, whatever that's green, they eat it, basically. <laughs> yeah. Almost anything. Ooh, look at these, a good one. <laughs> well, he gets really close to people. Oh, ah, okay. He's not afraid of people. This What's he called? Morty? Morty. Morty. Like Morty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he'll zoom right past your head. Yeah. Oh. So. He was just there feeding. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is right next to us. People don't scare him. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, as long as you just let him be. Yeah, fine. yeah, and he's fine. Is he, is he the one that was on this one? Yeah. Yeah. This is his little territory. This he's is his Mark, place. This is his. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So this is Elliot, that's Rocky, and this is Dozer. Oh, she's got lovely <laughs> Dozer. colours yes. on the tortoise shell. 